Hello everyone, I'm Gautam Rakar from Informatica GCS. Today, we're going to go over the steps to configure a Microsoft OneDrive catalog source in CDGC. In today's session, we will be going over the Microsoft OneDrive metadata extraction process, understand the different file types that are supported for OneDrive metadata extraction, what is a Microsoft Graph application and why do we need it for OneDrive metadata extraction? How to set up a catalog source for scanning of the OneDrive? And finally, a demo to understand the configuration of the catalog source in Metadata Command Center. Extraction of metadata from Microsoft OneDrive source in CDGC is performed through Microsoft Graph APIs. Now, to execute the APIs on the source OneDrive system and extract the metadata, a Microsoft Graph application is necessary. This Microsoft Graph application can be created using Azure Active Directory. Once this app is created and registered, and we provide the necessary permissions for OneDrive metadata extraction, a scan can be triggered from Metadata Command Center and the extracted metadata can be viewed in CDGC. You can extract the following file types and their partitions using Microsoft OneDrive catalog source. Avro, CSV, JSON, and Parquet. Now you can also extract the metadata from the provided list of Microsoft Excel files. Now what is a Microsoft Graph application? So a Microsoft App Graph application is an app registration that can be registered in Azure Active Directory. To create a Microsoft Graph application for OneDrive, create a new app registration in Azure Active Directory and generate new client credentials for the created application. When the application is created, a client ID is associated to it by default. You would need to generate a new client secret for the same. Once this app has been created, we would need to provide the necessary graph APIs, which are listed here, to the application. In addition to providing the mentioned or APIs here, you would need to provide a redirect URI for the application. This is the destination URI to where the application returns after a successful authentication of the user through Graph API tokens. Now this can be provided with the default value as shown below as per Microsoft documentation. Here are a couple of screenshots to show how the app registration is created in Azure Active Directory. When you create a new app and provide a name for it, an app with the client ID or the application ID, object ID and client ID would be created. You would generate new client credentials for the client ID here. Now these are informations that are necessary while setting up the catalog source in CDGC. And with regards to the perm API permissions, as mentioned in the previous slide, the files are read, files are read all, open ID, profile, and user read are all necessary privileges to run a successful metadata scan on your OneDrive system. So these graph APIs needs to be, the permissions needs to be provided for these APIs. Now, the next step and the final step here is to set up a catalog source for scanning of OneDrive. So you would start by creating a catalog source of type Microsoft OneDrive and provide the username password of the OneDrive account that needs to be scanned. And from the registered Azure Graph application, provide the client ID, client secret, tenant ID, and the redirect URL details. Kindly note that the redirect URL that's being provided in the metadata command center under the catalog source configuration should match the value provided while creating the graph application in Azure Active Directory. 
The Microsoft Cloud Scope can be provided with the default scope if there are no particular scopes created to authenticate the user. And this is the default Cloud Scope provided from Microsoft. An optional source directory can be provided to limit the scan to a particular directory, parent directory. And the format for the, providing the source directory structure is as shown here. Where, so in this case, the parent is the first directory under the OneDrive base directory. Let's see a quick demo on how to set up the catalog source configuration in Metadata Command Center. <coughs> now here we have a OneDrive catalog source configured in Metadata Command Center. As you can see, the first field that needs to be filled is the Cloud Authentication URL. Now for graph applications, this is the login.microsoftonline.com is the URL for authentications. As mentioned before, the username and password fields here denote the credentials of the OneDrive account that you are wish to scan into CVGC. From the created Azure AD application, kindly provide the client ID, client secret, and tenant ID information and the redirect URL as well. As mentioned before, the redirect URL provided here must match the one that was provided in the graph application. And the source directory here, for my scanning example, I've just provided it at, from the documents directory under which I've created a particular directory to show the various files that are being scanned here. In configuration, you would need to set up a runtime environment. Now you could use a Linux environment or a Windows environment, it's up to your preference. Now, in the filters option, you can add further filters to filter out metadata within the source directory. So you, on top of the source directory, you could provide further filters to extract any particular directories or files that you, want, that need, that you need to extract. And the configuration parameters, you could provide this as per your necessity. So once this, once this is provided and, and the scan is complete, you would be able to see the metadata in this fashion. Now, as I just extracted one particular folder, it's going to list all the contents of the folder. So here, as you see, we're able to see an Avro file. We're able to extract JSON, CSVs, Parquet files. If we open up an Avro file, it's going to list all the data elements in there. Similarly, for a JSON file, it's going to list all the data elements which are available in the JSON file. And also Parquet, we are able to see all the extracted data elements within the Parquet files. So these are the steps that needs to be followed to successfully extract metadata from OneDrive catalog sources. To summarize the activities performed in the session today, we understood the process of metadata extraction for OneDrive source. We reviewed the steps to set up a Microsoft Graph application and also provide the necessary API permissions for the Graph application. We went over the setup of the catalog source in Metadata Command Center. We also had a live walkthrough of the setup of the catalog source in Metadata Command Center and how the extracted metadata looks in CDGC. Now, additional information on this topic could be found in the Informatica Knowledge Base and also in the Metadata Command Center product documentation. Thank you for your patience with the session. We would love to hear more from you. Kindly leave a feedback at supportvideos at informatica.com or drop a tweet at twitter.com slash infasupport. Thank you.